<laughs> okay, hi everyone, welcome back to Make Well with Miss Marvel. Hello if you're new to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a, another eating insect video. Now, I'm going to eat the grasshoppers this time. Now, I kind of chickened out of it with the first video, the entomophagy video that I made eating crickets and showing you the mealworms. And I did show you the grasshoppers, but I just thought the video was too long and that was my excuse for not eating them. Well, anyway, the story unravels. I had a year nine food class a couple of weeks ago and one of the students was like, uh, on the live lesson, Miss, I've got some barbecue crickets. And I was like, oh, have you ever? And then I got all excited, went and got my barbecue crickets and we were like doing a live bush tucker trial uh, through the lesson and all the students were like chanting for us to eat more. And then I foolishly was like, because I was so excited and going along with it all, I was like, oh, do you know what, next lesson I'll make the grasshopper video for you. I will eat the grasshoppers, make the video, upload it for your next lesson live, so then we could all watch it on YouTube, get more views. Cheeky, I know. And now, the lesson is tomorrow, and I haven't made the video, and I'm going to do it now. So, the grasshoppers, you say, why? What's the problem with grasshoppers and crickets? Are they like the same? Well, they're not. Grasshoppers are a lot bigger, they look more like aliens, and they've got faces and the wings, and when I look at the grasshopper, I actually think, what little life did they have before they ended up in this plastic packaging, and, you know, they're living in the little jungle or whatever, living their little life with their families, and here they are, and I'm going to eat them. Right, I'm just making excuses. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a look at the grasshoppers, do a little close-up action of their bodies and faces, and I'm going to also cook them. It says, ready to cook insects, grasshoppers, are tasty and nutritious, have a delicate walnut, walnut? have a delicate walnut flavour, perfect for roasting and frying. So I don't know if you can see I've got my wok ready to fry them. On the back, grasshoppers are high in protein and fibre, helping to fuel your day and maintain a healthy digestive system. Try lightly seasoning with salt and pepper before roasting in foil for 8 minutes at 180. Uh, they'll then be ready to mix through your favourite stir fry. Why should I eat insects? It's like, well, I need this encouragement because I'm not looking forward to this. Enjoyed around the world, insects are delicious, nutritious and sustainable. They are high in protein and, as you'll see, use less of our precious planet's resources to farm. Okay, right. Okay. Alright. So I'm doing this for my year nine students. Why can't I keep this shut? The last video was because I was like, oh, I'm gonna do this insect eating video, bush tucker trial, and then I bottled it, and then my students were like, you've told us now, you've gotta do it. And once again, I do it again. Right, I'm gonna just do it. Stop waffling this, just do it, come on. Let's do the close-up actions. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. I'm gonna now do some close-ups, and I'm going to fry them for you as well. And then, obviously, eat them. Okay. Why do I do this? For views, subscribers, attention seeking, all of the above I believe. Okay, see you in a minute. Look at that, look. You see his little beady eyes. See his wings. The detail of his chest is magnificent. The detail of the chest is just magnificent. 
Oh, I see his little legs tucked up. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I've just noticed on the packaging it says, um, where is it? Ingredients. Grasshoppers. 100%. There you go. We know exactly what we've got. <laughs> Allergies, if you're allergic to shellfish, you may be allergic to insects as well, and it contains gluten. Yeah. Now if you can see that, that's a, I'm not going to cook all the grasshoppers, I've got maybe one, two, three, four, five, six in there. There's loads of wings. I'll be hoovering up wings and legs for weeks now, because they're so tiny and fine. <laughs> okay, here we go. Right, let's get this in. Let's turn it on. Whenever I cook my onions, I always do an onion test, so I'm going to take a little bit of the grasshopper's tail. You can see that. Some grass falling everywhere. So, see if it does anything. <laughs> Zoom in a bit. It starts to bubble. We know the pan is hot and the oil's hot. Oh my gosh. I can see it bubbling. I can't imagine it's taking long, so quite dry, part of the body, no you can't see it, there we go, like that, it's part of the body, inside, his head, you can see it inside there, starting to mm. bubble now, let's get this over. Okay, here we go, so I'll just put them, yep. See that? I haven't got a lot, so I don't need a lot of oil. So you just see, I've just put those two. These are the ones that haven't been cooked. And then this is the one that has. So they're a little bit, oh, nice and warm. Nice and golden and crispy. Oh, crispy already. <laughs> so, and then the colour is just a bit lighter. Let's get a comparison, look. See, this one's nice and crispy and dark and caramelised. And then the one that's not been fried. It's got sort of nice light tan colour. It's not a nice golden colour, but they smell really good actually, nice and warm. Well, I've just fried them, seasoned them with a bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil um, to make them sizzle and fry in the pan. And they've caramelised actually, the colour's more golden, smells really rich, and it is quite a nutty, walnutty smell, I do agree. Um, they've done their research very well. Um, I've got some water ready, just in case. It's just, you know, I eat prawns, lobster, scallops, I can, it's the same thing. Okay, this one looks nice and golden, I'm going to eat that one. Okay, here we go, so. Do the taste test, oh, let's do the taste test and the aroma. Yep, yeah. like I said, smells like walnuts and, okay, let's look at it. Caramelised in colour, golden rich tones of brown. <laughs> um, you know, the texture, it was pretty dry anyway before I fried them, but they, actually the oil has um, made them nice and shiny and the glistening and the light. They look beautiful. <laughs> but they feel a little bit more, yeah, a little bit softer in places. <laughs> the chest feels really hard. Okay, just do it back. This is for my students. The challenge is on entomophagy. Is it entomophagy? Entomophagy! Eating grasshoppers. Eating grasshoppers for you. Dun, dun, dun. Okay.
Okay. Okay, hang on. Oh, the wings! I don't like the wings! The actual body and head was, like, crackling. Let's go. The wings, man. I don't like the wings. I like. I didn't mind the body at first. It's like crackling, you know, from your good old pork, and it was like, oh, it's alright. And then the wing texture. It's like eating fabric. Oh, it's just so silky and like net. You could feel the texture of the wings on your tongue, and there's just all bits in my teeth. I'm gonna have to floss again. Oh, okay. And my eyes are watering. I don't know. Like I used to like grow up a bit. Like I just feel the end taste, the aftertaste was not good. I prefer the crickets because they're flavoured. Maybe because I've all got flavour, like flavours and spices on them. I will do this again. Maybe why did I say that? Maybe with some spices and add it into. It does recommend a stir fry, so you've got all those other textures of vegetables and noodles and whatnot. I think just the grasshoppers on its own was just too dry uh, and too crunchy and flaky and dusty in there. Yeah, I definitely think it needs a little bit more. Um, add a bit of barbecue sauce. Yeah, maybe like add some barbecue sauce just to break up that flavour. Right, I'm going to do one more. Let's see if I like it, you know. Sometimes you, you grow up a little bit and your taste change. I'm going to do one more for you. Right. Should we do a close up for this one? I'll try one with no wings. I'll take yeah, I'll try one with no wings. I will take the wings off. The second one for you, without wings. Okay. Mm. Okay, ready? Mm. Say goodbye. Mm. So my conclusion is I prefer the crickets because they're flavoured, they're spiced, um, they're smaller because they are dry but the grasshoppers are too big in their raw state just with a bit of salt and pepper it wasn't enough to flavour them. I think it needs a sauce like a barbecue sauce or in like the recommendation a stir fry. Um, so you've got other textures breaking up other flavours. For me, they're not for me. The crickets, yes. I haven't tried the millworms yet though, but I have done that in school, but I will maybe do that for another video. Anyway, um, are you going to have a try at the grasshoppers? Are you going to try the challenge? There you go. Passed it on to you. Um, thank you for watching Make Well with Miss Mark Well. There's many more videos to come. If you like my channel and like what you see, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. I love the comments so much. They make my day, they make me smile. And um, oh, also hit the notification button so then you know when I've got new videos coming out. And I think that is it. Thank you so much and take care and bye for now. Bye. So you've got his little, little eyes, beautiful wings, you turn him around, you've got his little chest, the armour, 
little legs tucked up. The wings will. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh dear. Look at him look. Staring me out. Ah! <laughs> okay. Let's have this one. Oh, he looks a bit like a frog. It looks like Kermit, look. Hmm. Oh, it looks different. Let's see if no grasshopper <laughs> looks the same. <laughs> Is that what? Let's see if we've got different faces. Oh, it looks like a fish as well, there. Oh, hello. What's your name? My name is. Hi, what's your name? My name's Sid. What's your name? Eric, what's your name? <laughs> I don't know.